the designer here works with a system that is potentially very efficient but not without its risks. He works with a single drawing and puts all of the past work and the current work within this one design file. So the blue rectangle over here, this represents one job. Here's another job, another one, a fourth job down there. And they're completed jobs as I understand it. And this one here over here is the job that's currently being worked on. So all of the symbols that need to be used in new design work are already preloaded and in view and the series of layouts are already all set so I can go to architectural C and there's a layout and if we double click on here can you see we're looking at this job here we could increase the size and adjust as we would normally and then display it but can you see where although we've got several jobs here in the one file we're just working on a single job and it's a quick and efficient way to work but it does have a couple of problems if we type fs for file size we're already uh, 1.19 megabytes that's a, now a very big drawing for what is really a very simple drawing and the reason for that is is you've got all of the blocks are all sitting here and past jobs are sitting here the other risk is that the file for any reason might become corrupt and for that I would recommend if you're going to work this way do hit this incremental save and if you hit the incremental save that will rename the drawing uh, make a copy of the drawing add the suffix underscore 01 and then if you on, at least on the very next new job make it click that green plus again and make an underscore two so at least in your folder you'll have a series of uh, drawings of the same name with uh, the suffix incrementing by one each time you do some new work so it's quick it's efficient and you sure can build designs quickly and easily cannibalizing early designs uh, and um, using those in new ones don't forget though there is an alternative approach and that's if you use the library designs opportunity there you can store any of your previous work scroll through them and grab that bit of work that you think will work in the new job so I hope that um, shows you a different way to work uh, but does show a few pitfalls in that approach